I would really love to reuse these uh, indicator LEDs here uh, in the case of the scanner. Uh, yeah, we're looking here at the top cover. Um, uh, I mean, leaving them that is, uh, no, wouldn't look great and uh, they come with a nice cute yeah that's pretty small uh led board for the side around and uh, yeah all the uh, necessary stuff to can zoom in on that exactly with the uh, required light piping and uh, yeah to fix the board in here so not to reuse it would be uh, pff, yeah stupid however there are some little drawbacks um, in regards to that board and um, and some unknowns okay so uh, uh, just let's have a look what this thing is actually doing okay so uh, I connected uh, the appropriate uh, series resistors dropper resistors for the LEDs, um, yeah, to a yeah, makeshift connector here to the board, and uh, yeah, let's power that thing up. Yeah, basically misusing the Arduino as a five volt voltage regulator, and you see. Uh, absolutely nothing. That's a wee bit disappointing, isn't it? Uh, huh. And ignore that display for the moment. Okay. It helps when you plug it in the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is that cable that is a uh, wee bit uh, lighter gray. That's pin one and that's LED one. So, ah, wonderful. And now I would like to know how much current actually is flowing here um, yeah I don't know that yet I know that this is uh, powered by 5 volts which I uh, yeah could simply take out of an old service manual and uh, regarding to the uh, resistors um, yeah, um, I'll show you. Well, the old resistors I actually found on the controller PCB. 181, 181, 471. So uh, 470 ohms for red and 180 ohms for uh, green. So yeah, no guesswork there. Uh, and that was the connector to the LED. So, yeah, even even without uh, the service manual, which stated uh, that <laughs> this board is connected to five volts here, and uh, yeah, it, it would have been easy. But the board has another drawback, at least. Uh, <laughs> For how I want to use it, it's common anode. 
So, uh, yeah, pin one is obviously the uh, red LEDs. So, uh, give me a sec. I that's the correct orientation. So, uh, error uh, pin two is green for ready, and pin uh, three is green for operate. Everything's fine. And pin four is common anode plus five volt. And uh, the reason they did that, uh, I guess uh, the driver ICs on the controller board where I had all uh, open collector output, um, yeah, it makes sense. Or in case of the power LED, um, I think it was ready or it was operate, the power LED, I don't know. Um, it was uh, simply connected directly uh, via the resistor to ground. Um, but uh, in my application, um, using uh, Arduino and other stuff, I have a problem with that. You see, somewhere at my Arduino, there comes a pin out that will uh, basically uh, control the on-off of the UV LEDs. And uh, that goes somehow via a connector and a long cable and another connector to my power board. Yeah, look at that other um, video about doing the power board. Um, yeah, uh, problem is uh, I designed that um, as active on. So to switch my UV LEDs on, I have to send here on equals five volts. And here you see the problem when I use an uh, indicator LED board with a common uh, anode where uh, yeah, the cathode of the LED, I would have to put that to ground to light it up. If I, for example, want to use the uh, operate LED to indicate when the UV LEDs are on. Uh, that's not a problem. Uh, simply take, uh, yeah, I'm not drawing it out completely, but uh, take some kind of MOSFET, not some kind of MOSFET, uh, normal N-channel MOSFET logic level and uh, put the LED in. So this goes to ground and uh, put the LED in like that. And go up here to plus five volts. Yeah, but uh, why, why should I use an extra MOSFET here? Uh, to switch on and off an LED. That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. If these LEDs would be common cathode, so the ground line going back, I yeah would forget about that and I'd say, okay, resistor LED ground. Done. Yeah, it's only one part, but uh, my heart bleeds. My heart bleeds. Uh, so, and besides, I, I really wanted to get into <laughs> SMD soldering. Yeah, if you remember, I bought a hot air station. Yeah, uh, link there. Um, 
and yeah, I, I mean, the, these things are tiny. I have no idea what, what kind of uh, SMD LEDs these are, but... Uh, These are spectacularly tiny, so a little over one millimeter to, uh, yeah, 1.8 millimeters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, all I have to do is to turn them around and then suddenly I have a common cathode board and I need one MOSFET less in the design and uh, yeah, why not? Let's try that. So I'm actually using <laughs> a crappy magnifying glass. Um, some pincers and uh, yeah. <clears throat> my trusty uh, hot air station um, yeah uh, link below the uh, link here in the corner uh, card in the corner link below and well, <clears throat> I guess here goes nothing um yeah, I have to go in with a digital zoom so you can see at least a little bit. What's going on? Let's see if we can get this in focus. Good enough. So really it's quite a cheap setup, but uh, that's what I have at the moment. And I set this to maximum temperature, 500 degrees, and uh, use the smallest nozzle and the lowest possible airflow. Let's see what we got here. Okay, can I focus? More zoom. Well, doesn't look too bad. Aside from the fact that the point is the other way around, huh? Then those two. Looks okay. Looks okay. That one is the wrong way around, isn't it? Hmm. You can't see anything, can you?
Tall shoot. I botched that one. Where has it gone? Ah, found it. Oh, I'm sorry if you <clears throat> are out of view, but this is not really easy. Have a look. Oh, yeah, this looks botched, but otherwise, okay. I wonder if it survived. Hmm. Well, only one way to find out. So you notice that I switch now the uh, polarity. Um, we have now common ground and uh, the, trans uh, the resistors are all going to the positive rail. And if I switch on, oh, okay. Um, so either I killed the green LEDs Oh, I put them the wrong way in. And obviously that little dot you see, if they are the wrong way in, the little dot you see is obviously not an indicator uh, of anode and cathode, <laughs> often as an DLED. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe somebody can tell me uh, how you identify anode and cathode on these little uh, s and LEDs. Uh, okay, but uh, maybe they are the right way in, but uh, I killed them. Um, let's test that. Uh, okay, I take the resistor for the red LED out, and okay, uh, blue is now red, so I put that on the positive rail. And the resistors go back to the negative rail, ground, whatever your flavor is. And okay. So, yeah, war wrong way around. Um, so, my as a SMD soldering is actually not that bad, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I have two more opportunities to practice. Oh, bullshit. Uh, sorry. <coughs> okay, let's try that again. The dot goes on this side this time.
Ah. And again, I blew it off somewhere. This is getting annoying. Found it. We'll see if that works out. Oh, did I mention I turned down the temperature just slightly to 450 degrees. Oh, now for that botched one here. Oh, just give me a sec. I want to take off a wee bit of that solder. Before actually... Okay, that looks pretty botched together, but anyway. Hello. But at least it looks like <laughs> making a contact. And you see these little dots for the green. And for the red, they are on different sides. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's try that. So, uh, yeah, so blue is uh, ground negative again and uh, the resistors go to the uh, positive rail, everything as it should be. I put this connector the right way in and at least we expect uh, the L1 red LED, error LED still working. So, and all are still working. Wow. That's so nice of them. I mean, <laughs> yeah. The red is okay, but uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I budget uh, 
that green one a wee bit and I totally butchered that one and they are still working. Seems mechanically sound. So yeah, let's put that board in again into the uh, case and have a look how it looks. Uh, but before that, uh, yeah, it says no clean flux, flux, but yeah, a little bit of alcohol can't really hurt. As I said, just a wee bit of alcohol. With a tooth, toothbrush, of course. And yeah, <clears throat> you see how I, uh, yeah, how I slightly burned the board, especially here at that one. Yeah, so uh, in the second try I lowered the temperature and I think, um, yeah, sin since I can't uh, get the airstream down any further, I will use next time a uh, one size bigger nozzle so I won't blow away my parts. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll put that in the case and then uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay, one, two, three. Well, I have to admit the green lights are quite dim. I mean, you can see them. I never seen them uh, in actuality and uh, of course it's very bright here but yeah it's working Whew, uh, yeah one more thing to do I wanted to measure the current these LEDs are drawing because um, yeah, I want to know and maybe I need to know if I am uh, not just uh, using resistors and uh, high-low outputs to drive them. Okay, uh, yeah, let's measure the current. I just uh, flipped yeah, the connector over here to the other row of... Uh, Pin so I can put um yeah that's one cable if you don't believe me uh an a meter in here this should be no yeah that's if you don't uh, yeah I can slide uh yeah it's lighting up okay uh, it's basically not visible uh to the camera um but yeah that's 15 milliamps or is it yeah 15 milliamps for the green ones that's quite a lot. Yeah, about 14 milliamps for the ready and
Oh, only seven milliamps for the arrow LED. Okay. But uh, it's, it's clearly, I mean, that might be the camera, but it's uh, cleanly the brightest, huh, the arrow. So, yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, lessons learned. I successfully modified my indicator LED board so I can use it the way I want to use it. Um, yeah, we will talk about this cute little OLED here uh, a little bit more in the future, I guess. And in regards to, um, yeah, <coughs> SMD soldering, I need a better solution. That was, yeah, e even if I don't use that uh, iPad somewhere in the way, uh yeah that that was not really fun it worked out but uh, it was not really fun and uh, i have to look at some options there um so for now bye